We're now on the driver's side of the car. We've done a series of videos on the passenger side of the car showing prep work for paint. We've done door jams, we've done individual panels, we've done the lips of the fenders and the wheel wells, we've done wheels and tires, we've done the trunk and the deck lid. Now I want to show you in real time how fast it is if you need to do a quick wash either to get Bondo dust off the car, present it to the customer after the job is done, or to prep the other side of the car because we're actually painting something on that side of the car. Or if you're just doing a waterless wash. So I'm going to start from the back and in real time I'm going to go back to front blow the dirt out of the cracks and crevices the way we did on the other side. I'm not going to do wheels and tires here, but we will do the lower part, uh, any uh, rotor that's on the bottom, the lips of the fenders. So we'll, we'll get the body of the car to look good. I'll blow the cracks and crevices out with the steam. I might go to the brush. I'll stop. I'll wipe it down. We're going to do a couple of panels at a time. I'll put the steam gun down. That allows the machine to regenerate its full pressure. And then we'll move from back to front and do the whole side of the car. So with that, I'll start now. If I don't talk too much, just watch me do the side of the car as if I'm really washing it. Now releasing the dirt from the cracks and crevices and spraying some of our waterless wash product on the car allowed the dirt to be released from the seams and the cracks and crevices. So I have enough waterless wash on the body to actually wipe it down with the microfiber towel without scratching it. Now when I get down to the rocker panel, I'll put my brush on the wand and we'll scrub the rocker panel a little bit because I know that there's some road tar and some heavier grime towards the bottom. But the waterless wash that we have on here now, I'm going to leave this for now. And I'll do that all in one shot. So that got me to, got me the rear quarter panel and it got me the rear door. Now I'll do the same thing. We'll blow. That's enough water to wash on the body. So now I just have basically my rocker panel left. To do. If I take a fresh clean towel, I'm going to need my brush and just wipe any residual wetness which could streak the car. Again, if we're prepping this, if we're giving, if we're going to give this as a final wash to the customer after the job is done, we don't want to leave any streaks on the car either. We want this to be a professional wash. Now what I'll do is I'll take my brush put my brush on the end of the steam wand and come back after some of the more difficult areas on the bottom here. And again, I'm not going to do the wheels and tires. A little bit of injectable cleaner. Go back to steam.
get a bunch of road tar on the bottom. Again, a white car. We want to take care of as much of that as possible. So the heat helps dissolve the road tar, and the cleaner as well helps dissolve it. So we come back down, wipe it down here. The lip of our quarter panel is nice and white, nice and clean. And we come back down to the rear bumper where we had a bunch of road tar. That's nice and clean. And we've pretty much got the whole driver's side of the car prepped, clean, finished for the customer. Other than the wheels and tires, which we can do either now or in another video, but we figure you get the idea at this point.